The former Duchess of York Sarah Ferguson has revealed how she attempted to repair her broken friendship with Princess Diana, but tragically Diana died before they were able to get back in touch and reconnect as bosom buddies. Fergie's friendship with the late Princess of Wales ended after she published a book telling an unflattering story which reportedly left Diana angry and upset. The 1996 publication My Story recorded anecdotes about the Princess of Wales, where Fergie got a Veruca after borrowing a pair of Diana's shoes. The pair never spoke again, as the Duchess had allegedly promised to not talk about her. Despite the strain the publication put on their friendship, Fergie said she didn't know the real reason the pair lost touch. She said she had written letters to the princess, in attempt to sort out their friendship. The former duchess said, actually, we were fourth cousins and our mothers, who went to school together, were also best friends, we wrote. And the saddest thing, at the end, we hadn't spoken for a year, though I never knew the reason, except that once Diana got something in her head. I tried, I wrote letters thinking whatever happened didn't matter, let's sort it out. And I knew she'd come back. In fact, the day before she died she rang a friend of mine and said, Where is that red? I want to talk to her. But the pair, who became close when they married into the royal family at young ages, were never able to make amends, as Diana tragically died in 1997. Fergie described the princess as her best friend and the funniest person she knew. She said, Diana was one of the quickest wits I knew, nobody made me laugh like her. The former Duchess also revealed that at her daughter Princess Eugenie's wedding on October 12 this year, Diana was still very much in her thoughts. She said, I thought of absent friends and family, of Diana, but she's with me all the time. What I miss most is her tinkling laughter. It was a total joy to be with her because we just laughed and enjoyed life so much and I know she would have loved the wedding. 